11 minutes? What am I, a content creator? This episode is sponsored by Mixed Emoji. I've been looking for all the animal designs I've not yet covered, and I just noticed I covered the Ox Emoji twice, which might be a bit less embarrassing if they weren't adjacent episodes, and I even came out with a different conclusion from the same material. The episodes were two sides of a hiatus, so they were 19 months apart, but that's no excuse. The show is about covering each emoji once, and I'm coming up to the last few animal designs, so I thought I'd get all the rest of them done in one generically titled episode. Let's look at some animals. First, the ox. Wait. Bison is what it's called in the West, but bison, 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 bison is its scientific name. If it looks really ill-designed as a creature, like it's going to topple over forwards, then that's probably a good illustration of a bison. What's that bring out those watery eyes somehow on top of the fur? Then there's these condemned hell beasties doomed to a life of tiptoeing around on those two stilettos, the one with impervious hair? A blinding, binding mask and altered beast. Samsung's does the proportion trick so badly that its back legs are floating, and Google made the best by son or daughter. Since the last Animals episode, Google have had a big design overhaul that makes everything really cute and good. Now the conclusion of my pointless yet determined plan to cover each horse emoji in a different episode. Why? What would I gain from that? I think when horse riding exists separately, the horse itself shouldn't be wearing anything that domesticates it, it should run freely. An old android design shows a brilliant baby giraffe, but I think the best wild horse is Samsung's. Yes, I know its face is kind of weird, but it's just got that motion to it. Flies are victim to that insect emoji principle where they're drawn from above and they kind of look like they're dancing. WhatsApp have the nicest portrayal. For this one to look like it's dancing, though, that's kind of appropriate for La Cucaracha. But the square emoji frame means that these bits often get folded down into a kind of droopy moustache, which is possibly even offensive. Let's avoid that and choose joy pics, and then I'll say the word Kafka, because that's like a reference to something you've read the Wikipedia page of, and you like those. These guys bloody suck. But I guess if there's a mask emoji, then that should be the baby form too. You can't just shrug away your culpability. I pick Facebook. Then the Beetlebox logo, and that's an order of animals we'll never really get proper coverage of. Another 20 species of beetle were discovered whilst I said that sentence. We've had the ladybird emoji for ages, so let's see if we can cover other beetles with this one. I think we just about can with this WhatsApp design. Anything that reclaims sloths from those old creepy memes is worth it. These are all pretty lovely, except Twitter's, which no about your other deadly sins and open emojis incompetence to even hold on to a stick. Choose Apple. Lobsters are very much like humans, except with better clinical psychologists. This is another of those poor animals that's more recognized dead than alive. The bright red coloring is usually post-mortem. Facebook's is doing that hands-together meek expression we keep constructing out of several separate emoji. I like when the antennae actually stick forward, which doesn't leave many choices, and actually makes Twitters the best. This emoji got a bit of stardom with the transgender community when they were upset that they weren't represented in emoji when lobsters were. But hey, lobsters need representation too. That's all blown over now that there's a transgender flag emoji as well, so we can respect both communities and, you know, maybe quit killing them. The dodo emoji seems to be tragically aware of its own demise at the hands of humans. And now it's in a machine designed by humans, watching itself be used at the whims of humans. Go with Google. There's a black cat emoji now, and I have always skipped skin tone modifiers on this show. Fur might not be skin, but if we're heading toward being able to combine various emojis with various colors, that's beyond my remit. Make your own show for racial emoji if you want, you could call it mixed. Never mind, I'm skipping this, for reals. The polar bear is also phrased as a species combined with a modifier, and this feels really arbitrary. I understand skin tones and genders being modifiers, and the service dog being a dog plus a construction jacket. 
but snow isn't even part of what a polar bear is, just its environment. Snow bear is what Coco the gorilla would have called a polar bear. Maybe the snowflake represents the polar bear's sensitive political stances, like they're so precious about climate change they think all the polar bears are dying. These snowflake polar bears think they're so unique, all 47 of them. Apple bleached their teddy. Google's is really confused and a little disillusioned. Twitter's is a dog. Joy Pixels is from some kids show that I can't name, but maybe one of the kids who watched Mates Emoji on their mother's YouTube accounts and then key mash incomprehensible comments could tell me. Emojipedia, it looks as flimsy as ever, I've seen better in design, but not in coloration, so you can have this one. Everyone else has used the color that people think that polar bears are. This is the color that they actually are. Take it. Then similarly, the flamingo. People think of flamingos as being a bright, hot pink, but they're more of a pale, salmon-y, lukewarm, orange pink, which no one quite hits here. WhatsApps is so pissed off at you, what have you done? I'll say Facebook, they get the shape best. Drawing a face, a little dot dash dot face on a worm, kinda just makes it even more disconcerting a creature. Don't do that. Emojipedia do the best job. Skunks have a reputation for smelling bad when you threaten them, which is actually your problem. Apples was coloured in with spray paint. Openmoji didn't even finish their line work, leaving the tail as resembling the aroma itself. These are generally really nice, mostly Samsungs. The otter is otting, or being launched out of a cannon, or a bad Firefox clone. This one's humble about being launched out of a cannon. Openmoji's is in performative shock, like you've accidentally caught it doing a sultry reclining pose, but that little smile shows that it was intentional all along. Emojipedia is certain it's got something interesting to tell you, but crucially, it hasn't. The nicest is WhatsApps. A beaving beaver. I know that people use beaver as some sexual term, but I don't get it. Leave them alone. Let them go on with their lives, splooshing around in dikes. This one has an invisible motorbike, and this one's like Look at this photograph. Considering that there's still no squirrel emoji, but there is a chipmunk, some of these look too much like squirrels and chipmunks. WhatsApp's neck is bad in a way that isn't funny, and Google's design is best. By the way, Facebook have already made their designs for these new ones, and they've not yet reached a Merchipedia, but shh, not, none of them are that good. The Bactrian camel hails from Bactria, and carries stuff on its back. Apples has serious Skrillex hair. It's not a very convincing creature in general, but we can't blame that on emoji designers. I don't know what this old emoji one design is going to do with all that junk. All that junk and its two humps. Check it out. There's also a dromedary camel, which hails from dromedar and carries stuff in its dome. There could be some dreadful miscommunication if you use the wrong one. In both cases, the Facebook design's best. The lizard emoji mainly exists to point out that I did my reptiles episode too soon. They have quite a range of different toe counts, and this might be Openmoji's weakest effort yet. I think let's go for Samsung. I've evaded recording the butterfly for ages, maybe because everyone did boringly good at it, most specifically Google. At least Microsoft, who kind of drew a space corridor. Here's a spider, spiding. They often neglect to have eight eyes, but some of them at least made a half effort at that. Google's looks like you've emailed it to someone and then they sent it back with half a leg missing. Apparently it doesn't matter where the limbs come out as long as you draw eight. These flattened ones just look like a spider symbol rather than a symbol spider. And I think we can respect spiders enough to let them face the camera, and Facebook did best. This emoji has been in since the start, and I've been very slow in getting around to it. It's possible that the early AU design is animated? Let me know in a few weeks if so. Mozilla's has a beefy arm. Something something Dreamcast. Those who don't draw the mouthy bits just seem to be a snail looking the other way. I don't know what early Samsung thought the antennae were for. The best contemporary design is Facebook's. I scripted this whole episode a couple of weeks ago and managed to lose the file, and at the time there were seven items on this page and I was gonna say something about the seven seals, because that's like a highbrow thing you've heard of but not read. It, if 
if it's a book, is it a book maybe? I don't know, check Wikipedia, then you'll laugh. Anyway, there's eight now, so I can't do that, and I need a new reference to pander to the instincts of people who mistake references for humor. Uh, seals. I, I could do a bit from a seal song, because we have really compatible vocal ranges. Or I could just call this one a Nazi, this one a happy ghost with a neck beard, and then say it's WhatsApp sealed that gets my approval. The orangutan is a later Jim Henson creature who never knows what to do with their hands when someone's taken a photo. Same. Or it's the grown-up version of Ken any. Or one with an absolutely massive forearm that obscures whatever body it doesn't have back there, or a face that takes up its entire torso. None of these are great, but I'll choose WhatsApp. The mammoth was only recently unearthed, but these first three are really good. Notice how Samsung, who usually copy off Apple's homework, are now looking to Google, which makes sense, because Android. WhatsApp again with the eyes, then there's these kind of timid Snuffleupagus ones. Oh, that's a much better Jim Henson reference than that previous one, so I'll remove the other one. Openmoji's cave painting aesthetic is appropriate for once. This is the main way we've seen mammoths portrayed visually, historically. As far as we know, it could be exactly what they looked like. Same old strange fur effect at Emojipedia that makes it look depthless. It's time to pick Google. I think I've now covered every animal emoji across the various episodes. If you find one that I've not done, that's really upsetting. But if you liked this video, you're guilty by association.